All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while. Let's do another one of these. Let's answer smart and stupid questions on the internet. Um, these are weird. I like Voodoo Ranger. I didn't realize these were different when I bought them. They're juice force. Anyway, I got some mini tacos and a sad peanut who thinks I'm going to share with him. And, uh, one of my uh, shorts went like viral last week, so I had a lot more comments. I, I don't think I've ever done this with uh, YouTube comments, so. While I eat these, we'll go through. Uh, Casey's on his way to Labor Day weekend sale, 50% off. Good for you, ma'am. William asked regarding my gantry. I suppose it would lift a V8 with a transmission. Yeah, it would absolutely. Um, the cab's 1,200 pounds. Somebody pointed out in the comments that if I had a snatch block, it would half the weight on the brake. I had a little bit of problems on the brake. Where's that scrapyard at? I wish I was closer, Thomas. How in the hell does a modern casting? I don't know. This is regarding my power stroke head. I don't know how it got to. It's a thing though, like if you look it up. Seems to happen. Um, rotted head, 72,000 miles. If you look on the internet, This side looks like it has 700,000 miles. Yeah, if you look on the internet, I wasn't that familiar with them either. When I bought the truck, somebody pointed out in the comment, make sure I didn't have a rust hole in the head like they did. And I completely disregarded it. And uh, I had two rust holes in the head. So. Just curious where you found the information at. This is regarding the uh, what's a grade 8.8 .8 bolt short. I Your reference source. I don't know why people ask shit like this. Like, Just Google it. If I tell you something that is questionable or anybody in the world tells you something that's questionable, just take that shit to Google. And then come back and be like, you lied, motherfucker. Or you were right. Or whatever. Who regrinds a cam? What's that cost? Um, a lot of people ask that. I'm, I'm going to send the cam off to Delta Cams and John Bodwell. I believe it's about 150 bucks um, to have it done. Nathaniel says stay off the meth because Nathaniel has nothing going on in his life and the only thrill he gets, the only meaningful adult interaction besides his mom telling him to wake up and go to work is to leave shitty comments on the internet. My cam shaft off my challenger was flat on... I, I don't know what the fuck this has to do with an LS cam video. I often... People like say the weirdest shit. People say the weirdest shit to me all the fucking time. Like, some guy was like, oh, that's, there's no grade 8 bolts in aircraft. Like, oh, okay. There's probably none on the fucking moon either. Yeah, I'm not sending that shit. Roll it over and knock a set of cam. How about not? How about just not? How about you take your running fucking engine and let it continue fucking running? You're no mechanic. Yeah, that one guy in the short cup saying, you're no mechanic. Pro tip, never ever buy a GM vehicle. I'm sure people say the same shit about Ford. It's like, people would love to leave shitty comments on. There's a quote, I don't know if Mike Tyson said it, but it's hilarious. Like, the internet has way too people way too comfortable. You're being naughty. Sit down. Stop it. Like, too comfortable saying crazy shit and not getting punched in the mouth for it. And it's true. Like, people just say shit to say shit. Like, for the fun of it. Hmm. 
Pimpinini is easy as JR makes it look. Oh, this is about the cab. The cab is back on my chassis of my power stroke. I mean, I guess it's not as easy. I don't know how easy I make it look. Um, I hope I convey that I put real effort into it. And that if you put real effort into it too, like you can do everything that I do. Neighbors must love looking at your yard. I don't fucking care. I get this one all the time and I don't care. Like, I literally don't care. Did anybody else notice that he just dropped that cam on the floor like that? About 6,000 of you did. Did anybody notice that that's an engine I got for 60 fucking dollars and I don't care? Probably not. If I use fuel rails with built-in fuel pressure regulator, do I still have to run another wreck? No. Says he's going to get the Camry ground. I say he ground it pretty well himself. Yeah, yeah, that 14-inch drop on 8620 billet steel. Totally fucking murdered it. There's another short where I threw it 30 fucking feet twice, and it was fine. My truth slays. Let's look at my truth slays. Let's see what his truth is. He doesn't have any content. There's no truth. Well. Fuck that. Buy a coyote, boost and cap the fuck out of it, built LS. I know what I said. When you do that, let me know. This dude, Clayton, for whatever reason, just said if you didn't go into this knowing full well she needs a full rebuild, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm not fully rebuilding anything. Like, I will replace the part that I have to, and that's it. The only question that actually matters is why are your panties so twisted over random nutters? They're not. I don't care. My shit works. <laughs> LMAO, then he just drops his good cam on the concrete. And then it's fine. The end. I don't know why the attitude of being an asshole isn't going to get you very far. I mean, it's gotten me where I am, and I'm pretty happy with that, David Savage. My David Savage upset. He has a weird Woody. This whole channel is a 4th of July thing. Cool. No one goes full Matt Ham. I assume this means Matt Happel. I actually just made this fitting... Um, I'll show you guys real quick. I made this fitting for my Power Stroke. Uh, you can buy them for like 30 bucks. I just made it for fun because I found the scrap. And uh, I don't get to do machine work much anymore. Oh, no, I'm way back up at the top. And I got no more tacos. Peanut, we got no more tacos. We got more beer, though. I don't know where the fuck I was at. I feel like it's not uh, loading these in order. Oh, there we go. A lot of people commented on the yard furniture outside in one of these shorts. Um, that's because I have a powder coating business. I sandblasted and powder coated the stuff. What's a grade 8.8 .8 bolt? Robert Lindsay says bullshit. Well, you're welcome to take to Google and prove me wrong. I got asked this so many times it disappointed me. Why send out a factory camshaft to be reground? So that you have more lift and duration. That's a thing. Um, I don't know. 
I can't find anymore. It's a power stroke. Scrap it. Her <laughs> her. Kill yourself, bro. I also didn't know this was a thing. Apparently, Whistle and Diesel dropped a camshaft and it shattered. Some expensive camshaft. I'm going to pull up an illustration, though, if I can. I probably should drink less beers before I start these. All right. We'll use this one. This middle circle is the base circle, right? So, like, a lot of people... It's a miracle of fucking modern geometry. How you can grind a cam and have more lift. If you were an engineer, which obviously I'm not, the YouTube commenter said so, you would understand things called datums, which are zero. Reduced base circle cams used to be a big thing for like uh, 400 Chevys have a 5.45 inch rod. And if you use a 5.7 inch rod, which is a standard small block Chevy rod, It'll actually contact the uh, camshaft when the crank swings around. So they would use a reduced base circle cam, and that would give it clearance. Uh, there's other other engines and other reasons to do that. When LS engines first came out, there were a lot of reduced base circle cams because they were regrinding stock cams. So what you do, let me see if I can uh, save this. Shit. We'll do this. Um, if a guy came in here and ground this smaller, now the distance between here and here becomes greater. And you can grind this out. So instead of... You can change by changing the shape and then adding a longer push rod or maybe the lifters take up the slack as they do in an LS. You can actually wind up with a smaller lobe physically that makes more lift because geometry. So you have a lobe and you have, that looks like a weenie, haha. <laughs> a rocker and you have a valve. And by regrinding it, but making this longer, you can make this bigger. And that's been a thing for like a hundred years. Uh, when people say three quarter race cam, it's because Ed Iskandarian was regrinding their fat, their factory camshaft. Uh, the hokey ass message board will tell you. Um, Delta Cams is who I use, by the way. But this is how hot rodders used to do this back in the 50s. Like, they didn't, there were no cams. There were no stage three. You couldn't just call Summit Racing and affirm your way into three easy payments of $49.95 for everything BTR had to offer. They actually had to use their fucking brains and figure shit out. Uh, so they would regrind their stock cams. Cam bearings warm. Cam off. Stuck engine removed. Send a rework block and all. Rebuild. Real engine houses work it. I'm not sure what this means except like I shouldn't I shouldn't have thrown this in a heap over in the corner. I actually sold the bear block for 40 bucks on the 5.3 that I did this cam bearing short on. I sold the block for 40 bucks. I kept the push rods rockers. The heads are going onto my 6 liter I got out of the dumpster. Um... Like, that project's progressing nicely. Coconut! Coconut's mad. She can hear me up here talking. I don't know if you guys heard her. Anyone using a Terminator X have this issue? It's a stock LM4. Runs great. Why? 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 Did you spend $1,200, $1,800 on a fucking tuning device for a stock fucking LM4? Fucking stupid. And, and then it doesn't even work. It didn't self tune, bro. Fuck. Where did the stigma come from that building an LS and swapping them is cheap? I get so many messages about how a rebuilt engine shouldn't cost more than 5K. 
Because you did this dumb shit, Van. That's why your name's Van, down by the river. Cam, Springs, Boar, and Hone. Like, why, why proper build with Cam parts? You're fucking retarded, that's why. I, I don't even want to... Yeah. Why are you taking a perfectly good engine that spins over and holds compression and doing this shit to it? Like, why are you doing that? What do you think you're fucking gaining? Is it safe to grind the inside edges of picture one because it's leaving a scoring groove on the converter? Uh, that Those should be locked together, bud. 5, 3, 4, L, 60, and all gears seem to work great, but second to sh third shift seems funny. That's because your direct is going out. This dude's a fucking trip, but whatever. Um, I'm not even going to touch on that. He's got a cracked manifold, and the comments are stupid, I'm sure. LS manifolds weld easily. You can go around and around and around about whether they're cast steel or cast manifold. All I know is you can fucking MIG weld to them without preheating, without doing fucking voodoo, without just voodoo ranger, and fucking grind that shit and weld it. I wouldn't even grind it. I would just fucking run a bead over top of it. The end. Did someone make their own supercharger bracket at home? It's expensive. Yeah, but that's why we just use fucking junkyard shit. Can stock LS injectors handle E85? They can spray it. There's not enough volume. Coconut! New cam from BTR. 456 horsepower, 410 foot-pounds of torque. I guarantee this is some fucking bullshit math. It's always some bullshit math. This is at the crank with E85 with a billion degrees of timing with 243s and a trailblazer. This is the best possible fucking scenario. This new cam is going to, you're going to put this shit in your fucking LM7 and it's going to cost 400 fucking bucks and I bet you it makes like 340 tire tops. Just buy a fucking regrind and make 330 tire. And tell everybody you have that cam. How hard is that? This thing's cool. I don't know what... Is this a Bobo? Is that... A, what the fuck is that? It looks like one of those old early 60s Dodges. What aftermarket injectors would you run on a head cam intake NA 5.3? Uh, I wouldn't. I would run stock injectors. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, I got to go get this coconut. I don't know what her problem is, but uh, also I'm pissed off about these little fucking mini tacos. I should have bought three of these, apparently. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hopefully this answers all your fucking questions. Did I ever show you guys this thing? I made this so I can make a turbo log, or so that you can make a turbo log. Do, do, do. And then I never told anybody. Now you saw it. It exists. Uh, see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.